Hello, internet friends. Aaron Stewart from The Little Black Couch. I was, I had every intention on talking about um, one of the five Ps today, but um, something's come up that's really sort of uh, irritated me. And so we're going to talk about it. Going back to my SEO days, uh, it's going to help you and your site convert more people and rank higher. And I've had such a nightmare today dealing with sites that aren't doing this properly that we're going to do some training on it. And we're going to do it before my wife gets here and uh, wife and daughter are coming to pick me up to go to dinner. So we're going to jump right into it and discuss this very important topic when it comes to being online. Welcome back, my peeps. Oh, shoot. I like the sunset better. I need to start doing a better job. Where's the sunset? There. Right. That's better. Friday night, going into a, a holiday weekend. Oh, it's gorgeous out there. I hadn't even looked. It's, it's fantastic. Anyway, so I wanted to talk today a little bit today about something that, man, it's been driving me crazy today um, on some sites. And we're going to bring in, we're going to bring in Buddy really quick. And he's going to help us. Now, I tried to find a, um, a, a photo icon and I could not, but I found a camera. So we are going to talk about photos and photos that we put on our site. Okay. The reason why this is so important is that one of the ranking factors now that Google uses to determine whether your site is worth them giving as a result is how quickly your site loads. Okay, so if, you, if your site is not loading quickly, then Google doesn't want to share it with anybody because you're, the chances are the person's not going to be able to, to be patient enough to sit there and watch it load to figure out if it's worth it to them or not. They're going to bounce back and forget it. So Google's now decided, you know what, if a page can't load fast enough, I am never going to give it, I'm never going to give it as a result to one of my, our search queries. So they're just leaving them off. Okay, so that's part of the problem here is one, you're not going to do very, your site's not going to do very well in Google search queries, which as we've discussed before, all this content we're producing, if we're not getting it out there where it can be consumed and people are actually listening to it and, um, and, and looking at our stuff and buying stuff, then what's the point, right? So when we're creating a website or a funnel or whatever you want to call them right now, and you're going to put graphics in there, and I highly recommend you do, you've got to have graphics in there. Folks need the visuals to purchase. You need to make sure that these, these photos are resized and optimized properly so your site can load fast. Like we, we are now seeing, we, are, we have such short attention spans that if a, site doesn't, oh, if a site doesn't load within like two seconds, we're gone, right? So we're going back to Google saying, hey, show me the next one because that site sucked. It didn't come up fast enough. I'm a busy person. I'm not gonna sit there and watch the, um, watch the videos and the images render. I'm gone, right? As soon as you start seeing something, like, you're gone, right? Okay, so I wanna give some, some really general um, guidelines. And this is all based on SEO and what we learned over the years running solo SEO. And these are some general guidelines. First off, you want to get all your photos under 500 KBs, okay? If, if, if you're under 500 KBs, you're in great shape. Now, some people will then ask, well, what about different sizes? Okay, that's fine. You want 500, K, you want 500 KBs, right? That's the total file size. You want to have it as far as resolution goes because people are so worried about resolution on their photos. 72 pixels per inch, PPI, not DPI. Dots per square inch is a printing term. We don't care about that online. We want it 72. Sometimes you'll see photos that come in at 300 DPI. That's print quality. We don't need that. 
the browsers don't display it anyway, it's not worth a darn. Okay, so no 300 DPI's, your site isn't going to look any better. So just dump that, it's not gonna help you. Okay, 72 DPI's, loading faster is much, much better than having a, uh, a clearer photo. So uh, d nothing over 72 DPI is worth it. Okay, so just 72 DPI, 500 kilobytes, KBs, okay? Those, that's the biggest size. That's, you can go a little bit bigger, but that's just general, right? As far as the size, of the photos, you if it's a background, you want to still make sure it's 72 and all that. If it's a background, you can go up to 25 pixels, 2,500 pixels wide, but don't go beyond that. Okay, that's not worth it, right? So if it's, it'd be what, 25 by, well, just go 25 wide and let it resize to whatever it is, but don't go further than 25 deep for a background. Now, if it's just for a website, depending on how you're going to utilize these photos, if you're gonna use them in different sizes, the max you would ever wanna go is 1500. I personally only go to 1200. Anything more than 1200 doesn't really benefit me at all and anything that I'm creating right now. And I don't think that it would benefit you. There might be some designers out there that do some, some crazy layering where they want to have the 500 pixels wide, but for me, 1200 pixels wide is plenty big. Right, and so I always, when I resize photos, the largest, it doesn't matter if it's, it's tall or it's horizontal or vertical or whatever, whatever the longest side is, 1200 is the max for me, okay? 1200 pixels is the max. And I, I think that that's a general, I really haven't come across a situation where 1500 was gonna benefit me at all. I, again, aside from the background images at 2500, yeah, definitely can get away with that. Um, and there's things that you can do to lighten the color and different things to even lower the, the size of the file, but we won't get into that today. That gets to be a little more complicated, okay? So those are the general rules. Um, favicons, are, I, I like to put up favicons if we're gonna talk about graphics for your site. Um, those are just the little guys that are up in the URL. If you save a page, like book a markup page or some of the browsers will show those. Uh, for branding purposes, that's cool to have. All the browsers, it used to be if it wasn't a dot .ico, then the browsers wouldn't recognize it. All browsers recognize a dot .png now, except uh, Microsoft Explorer, and that Microsoft Explorer sucks. So nobody uses it anymore. It's not, it doesn't, it's not supported. It, it doesn't do well with a lot of different things. So nobody uses, just ignore it. If you have a, a square, and you, it's 100 by 100 to up to 300 by 300 is really the best, 72 PPI, that's as much as you need. That's what you would use your, for your favicon. If you're using ClickFunnels or the place for it, um, upload it to your site, put it on your site, get the URL, put it in there as your favicon. Great, it works out. It works. It actually works very well. It used to be you had to go upload it different places in order for it to work, and it had to be named something specifically in order for it to work. Uh, favicon.ico, uh, but. In the modern day, we don't need it anymore. You just need a square image and you need to stick it in wherever it can be found. Uh, WordPress is different than ClickFunnels, um, but still pretty simple there. Usually in the template of a WordPress site, it will ask you what, you know, what, where it is. You just put it in your media library, go select it, works out great. Okay, all right. Now, what if you get a bunch of photos and they are too big? You've gone out and you've taken them with your, um, with your big fancy Canon camera. In fact, I have my daughters around here somewhere. We're gonna use it up. The DSLR, right? And it, it, they're wonderful, they're print quality, but we're using them for a website. Okay, so what do we do with those? Okay, this is what I like to do. And this I think is, um, well, brilliant. I think it's brilliant. So I have a blog that I've been doing for quite some time for my son, he who is a missionary right now. So he sends an email to me every single week and it has a bunch of photos attached. So I will download these photos and then I will resize them to stick them up on his blog. It's just, I resize all photos now when they're gonna go online, just to, it's just good practice. And this is the process I use. And if you use this process, you will be able to get your photos down to really reasonable sizes. And it's just a couple little services. So I'm going to share my screen with you right now and we're gonna go through it and I think it's this one here. Yeah, okay, so cool. I'm gonna move this one out of the way. 
Okay, so I just wanted to show you. So I've got my son's pictures have come in. I've put them in two different folders. But my son's pictures have come in and I've downloaded them. Can you see those? I don't know if you can see those very well. Let me, let me see if I can jump in here real quick. No, 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 it's not working. So, okay, so my son has sent over these photos and I've made them a little bit build bigger so you can see. But you can see here that um, these photos are like 2.5 megabytes, 2.4 megabytes. He's got some smaller ones here at 351 kilobytes and 267 kilobytes, which is great. Usually means it was taken by a phone. Um, but some of these other files, are, they're just too big. Right, and so he used his little camera that he has with him. He has a little Nikon with him. It took really fancy photos, and we need to resize those. So this is a, here's a nice photo, right? We'll just bring this up. Oh, let's see, he sent us a nice photo of a sunset, okay? Cool. And then he's got a photo here with, oh, he's with a, 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 a ward member at the church. Okay, so these, fold, these are too big. I can't, that one was 2.4 megabytes. I can't use those. He wants them uploaded onto a site. If I uploaded those photos to his site right now, it would take forever to load. Okay, so two-step process here. First, we want to compress them. And there's a really, really great site. I, I seriously, I can't for the life of me figure out how the world do they do this. But so write this down, tinypng, tinypng.com. You can also go to tinyjpg.com, tinyjpeg.com. It's basically the same site. So if what you do, it's super simple. All you have to do is take these, take your photos here, so, so these huge photos, and drag them onto here. You can see here in this screen, I'll see if I can make this one bigger here. Oh, there you go. I've made this one bigger. So you can see here on this screen that I uploaded all my son's photos here. You can see 2.5, 1.5, 3.0 megabytes, 1.6, right? So you can see that I uploaded these babies here and then they compressed them down to, look at this. That, that one's good. This one's still a little too big. This one's still a little too big. But still, for the most part, they absolutely compressed these photos down to where they're reasonably sized, right? As far as file size goes. They're great. Um, now I just go ahead and download them, and I did that. So I downloaded the, so I will go ahead. So again, tinypng.com or tinyjpgjpeg.com, okay? So I'm going to, we'll get rid of that screen. So this is the originals, and then I am going to bring, so I downloaded, they'll give you a, um, a opportunity to download. And so I went ahead and downloaded those and you can see that the file names are all the same. We can see now that these are all much smaller. Okay, I can get rid of this one right here. These are all much smaller files. But if I go ahead, but let's look at this one for example right here. This, this photo here is still 661 kilobytes. I want that less than 500. So I am gonna open this up with, I use preview but you can use whatever you want. And I'm gonna look at the size of this photo. So I'm gonna to go to tools and adjust size. And that's gonna come up and tell me that the height of this photo is 4,128 pixels. And I already mentioned, I only want 1,200 at the max. Some people will say 1,500, but I say 1,200 at the max. So now I know that if I reduce that to 1,200, I am going to get a smaller photo size. So if I do that to 1,200, it will automatically resize the width to 675. And it's telling me now, it's calculating the size. If I say, okay, and then save it, files, and I'm gonna save it. Now this is kind of a, a boring product. Now look, I took a 600 something kilobyte file and it's now 97 kilobytes. Okay, and if I bring up that photo, um, that's the size that it is right now. Well, online, that's gonna look really good. Okay, it's gonna to be totally fine. Okay, so that, I have fixed that. Now, I personally do not like to go through and, let me get rid of this. I do not like to go through and do all of these manually. Um, I'm just too impatient to go through and do that. And I love him, but that's a lot of love. Right, that's wasting a lot of time there. I don't know, what is wrong with this thing? Oh, it's because I was looking up at the screen. Um, that's weird though, right? 
this picture in picture, that's weird. I'm gonna change the source on this picture in picture. Watch this. Change it to my pro cam. Boom! Aha! That's good. Oh, although now I have to do the now I have to do the sunset. Oh, I don't want the I gotta see how we're doing this on the fly? See now even the picture picture's got the sunset. Fanciness, fancy stuff. Okay, so now I want to go and look at um, I'm, I'm gonna bring this down here so we can no you can't see it if it's there. So I want to go and resize all these photos. So what I will do is I run an automation and I'm gonna click on this right here and it will bring up the screen. Where is it? It's right here. Okay, so this is a program that I have got on my Mac and I think most of us probably use Macs now because if we use um, Windows, I think that we're, um, we're 10 times less effective. And that's a lot of time to waste if you're on a Windows machine. So I'm on a Mac, and so I built out this little automation process using what um, Apple likes to call Automator, okay? And I don't, let's see, can you see that? I don't know if you can zoom in on screens very well. Oh, let's try. No? Oh, no, it's not letting me, okay. So anyway, I can't zoom in. Well, can I do this? It doesn't necessarily help. But anyway, I've set up what, an automation. And so this ask for finder, finder items, and so I'll go out and choose something, get folder contents, and then scale images. I have mine scaling to 1,200 pixels, and it will choose the longest size and then resize them, okay? So if I go and run this, oh, my wife's coming, Marcus Red. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and run this. So if I click run, it's going to come up and it's gonna ask me, okay, where am I getting these folders? Where am I getting these files? Now I have got to, I think that that probably went to a download folder. Ah, uh, download, so it's Tinified um, is the download folder that it came and you can see here if I show it, here's all the folders, here's the one I just shrunk. So I'm gonna select this folder, choose it, and then it's gonna go through and say, do you wanna repeat it for all the subfolders? It doesn't really matter because I don't have any subfolders in there. And if I say, okay, go ahead, reduce it to what size, I've got 1200 pixels, and continue, Wow. Okay, it's done. Okay, so now if I go back to this folder, I'm gonna make this small. If I go back to my Tinyfied folder here, and we can see now that it's gone through and changed all the sizes, and I have got very small photos now. Every single one of them now is under the 500 KBs that I wanted to reduce it to. Okay, so totally great. Now these, fo now these files here, these photographs, can be uploaded to, in fact, do I have my son's site here? I'm using WordPress for his site. Let me see if I've got it here. Maybe not. So I've got WordPress for my son's site. I can't see it anymore. There's ClickFunnels. I thought I had it up. I thought I had it open. Maybe not. Anyway, so the bottom line is now that I, I can take these photos and upload them, and they are going to be a great size for my son's site. And so that's kind of what I wanted to share today is make sure on your own site that you are uploading photos that are less than 500 kilobytes, less than 1200 pixels wide or tall, okay, and 72 PPI, not 300 DPI. If you do that, there's really no reason why your photos can't be below that 500 threshold. And if they're below that 500 threshold, your site will load like that. I mean, it will load so fast, which is important because when people land on your site, if it doesn't load fast, they're gonna leave. And when a, a, a client lands on your site and doesn't start to read your copy and read your cool funnel or your cool page or your sales message, they're gone because it's taking so long, you've lost a client. You've lost the opportunity to try to pitch somebody and get them to purchase whatever you're selling, which is super cool and you wanna make money with. Um, the other thing is Google is never going to serve up your page if it has huge images on it, because it's not going to load in less than two seconds. And if it doesn't load in two seconds, folks, Google's not interested. Google doesn't want to share your site. It, 
Google is all about making sure, and Yahoo and Bing are the same thing, but they are about making sure that they deliver relevant revolt, results to those folks that are coming and using their site to search stuff. And so if your page isn't loading fast enough, Google knows and they are not going to refer any traffic to you. No free traffic. Okay, so make sure that you are going through these steps, getting your photos down to a size that's reasonable, stick them on, it's still, they're still gonna look good, then stick them on, their, on your site and it will, be, it will be much better for you. Okay, so hopefully that's helpful. Going into a holiday, use this holiday weekend to go through your sites and your funnels and get all the photos off them. Reduce them in these two steps, put them back there and watch how much better your site performs and converts. Mark my words. Aha. Aha. So, okay, Aaron Stewart from The Little Black Couch. It is a holiday weekend. So, let's celebrate. It's a holiday weekend. My daughter showed us some, uh, oh my. <sighs> my daughter showed us some, um, some clips from The Office last night. I haven't watched The Office in a long time. Um, wow. We laughed uh, very, very, very long and very hard. Um, she's become a bit of a um, office fan. I still think she's a little young. She's 14. No, no, she's 14. Honey, I hope you're not watching this. Yeah, she's 14. She just started high school. Anyway, yeah, we laughed really hard. So have a great weekend. She's so excited to have a holiday weekend, right? Two weeks of high school in the books. So she's super excited. I just heard the car door slam, so I am getting out of here. Thanks for joining me today on The Little Black Couch, where we help entrepreneurs do better and do more with their business. Until next time, do well and be good. Thanks.